Well, there it is. I told you guys I'd uh, show you how the drive on this works. And uh, so here, here we go. If you guys understand a snowmobile clutch, you'll understand this pretty easily. Basically, it's really simple. Just like a snowmobile clutch, you've got two pulleys. You got the one coming off of your motor, and you got the receiver pulley here. So, what happens is uh, the lever that I showed you earlier, this lever here that you push forward to go faster or slower, sets your speed. So that's hooked to a set of linkages. What happens is, from underneath there, that, uh, that lever moves a linkage that squeezes this pulley together. Now as that squeezes together, the belt rides up higher and uh, spins, spins the belt faster. Okay, And then of course, just like a snowmobile clutch as well, this one is variable too and will squeeze together or apart as the belt gets tighter or looser. So uh, you get a smaller, a smaller pulley here and a larger pulley here, forcing it to go faster or slower. Now those in turn are connected to a set of, uh, to another bar that goes down along here. And there's a set of belts down here that goes to a, a set of drives, one for each wheel, that's up underneath here. I don't think you can, well yeah, you might be able to see them. I don't know if you can see those or not. But there's two drums, and those drums have a sprocket on the end, and uh, inside them is a set of clutches. If I had a set right here, I would show you, but I don't. At least I don't think I do. I can go look in the back. But I don't think I have a set of those sitting out for that. Uh, nope, it's looking like I don't. So I'll just try and explain it to you. Basically, what happens is you've got a... Uh, i uh, find a piece of paper and a pen. Uh, well, I got a pencil here. So you've got a drum. Looks like so. And you've got a sprocket on the end. My drawings are terrible. You got a sprocket over here in the chain that rides on that that goes to the drive axle. Then you've got a pulley on this end I'm drawing this while looking through the uh, huh, the camera, so it's a little difficult, and I shut that noise off. Okay, then around here you have a band, like so. Okay, and in this end, I'm drawing really simply. You have a set of little fingers, and inside there is a clutch pack. Okay, so basically, and and a set of planetary gears. You, so you got a gear here, and here, and uh, a gear that rides in the center with a shaft that goes out to here. So basically what happens is when you pull one of those levers forward, it just releases this band, and so this whole unit and this clutch is engaged into those planetary gears. So, so what will happen is... Um, what will happen is you just spin this whole drum forward so it goes in the direction that the belt's turning. Now if you pull that lever backwards there's a little deal that goes along here that pushes those fingers in and disengages this this brake or clutch pack however you want to call it. So when that happens then these planetary gears come into effect. And uh, when those planetaries, so you got this uh, this this pulley here turning these planetaries which turns this backwards of the direction that this belt is turning here and uh, that's that's how that drive system works. pretty pretty simple like that I know my drawing is absolutely terrible for those of you that are wondering what a planetary gear set looks like there's a gear here a gear here and a gear here and in some planetaries you can have six gears or five gears or whatever. 
Now those are your planetary gears. And in the center of those, you've got what you call a sun gear. Now if you think about it, you know, you've got uh, a planetary gear that turns this way. So these are all going to turn this way. So if uh, you attach your, you've got a ring, then the outer, outer gear here, the orbit gear here, goes around the outside that's geared to these. So then you get this turning back this way. So you got this going this way, these going that way, and this going this way. Or vice versa, if you're driving this outside gear this way, these are going to turn that way, and this is going to turn this way. So you can see how a planetary gear set works, you know. And these, of course, are all pinned to one another through a cage, but so they, they all stay stationary, just they roll around as a unit. So anyways, I hope that, uh, I hope that helps you guys to understand the, the drive system on this swather. And uh, for the guy that asked, no, it's not a hydrostatic unit. It's what you call a manually variable drive. And it's really a pretty good setup. But hope that answers any questions. I'm going to get to work. Well, there we go. Made some progress. Get that flywheel and drive off. And the shroud and all that. You can see this beastly 225 uh, slant 6 in all its glory. So I gotta replace this belt here and that belt there. And I gotta fix this drive up and uh, replace the rear main seal. Fix a leak in the hydraulic pump. And uh, then just a few little piddling around things, points and plugs and condenser cap and rotor and some things like that just some tune-up items and then I'm gonna check compression get a baseline for the year and uh, then this thing should be all ready to go for the season so there we go we like it